lane that I would walk on every single day. You see that it's a lane, right? And not like... It's not a lane. What would you call it? This? Yeah. I'm not even sure, like a... Like a mountain driver. <laughs> Whatever. Look, and, that, wait, that's, the, the road? that's the Aki that I told you my dad would like eventually like steal Wait, when they grow up. Why don't you show people the road? Because this is not a lane. This is my lane. What are you talking about? Break your foot. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we are at my childhood home where I grew up in Jamaica. Came from very, very humble beginnings. We are here in Port Antonio. I won't tell you where exactly because my family still lives here. Um, but this is where I grew up and I brought my husband to show him my life as a young kid right and one more thing oh before we get into the video make sure you like share subscribe and turn on your notification bells so that when we post a video you don't know what going already and you can get the video you can get the update all right let's go all right so this is what we call the veranda Um, as you can see, they're closed because in Jamaica, we don't really have where I come from. We don't really have dryers and washers. So you wash your clothes in one pan and then you hang them up like this. Our outside is better. But if you expect rain, you hang them here. So that's if the rain falls, you know, you still get the breeze and everything. <laughs> You'd have to go down. Oh, it hit my head. has probably been here since I was a baby I think but this is the living room very very small and cozy but when I was young I feel like it was bigger though I guess because I was smaller you got bigger <laughs> couch here couch over there that's not the same setup that when when I was living here there was a couch back here no there's a table couch back not not a couch there but there was always a couch in this section there was a TV here Notice my father just ditched the TV and just have our radio now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where me and Shana would sleep. And now it's just a storage room. So you know when your kids go off to college and you just turn somewhere into a storage? I guess that's what my dad did. So this is just storage. There were like two beds here. Um, two beds. First, first, this was our house this this and i think there that was the house and then me my mom and my dad's bed was there Shauna's and my bed were there and we used to all sleep in the same room and then eventually my dad built a second room which we'll show you soon and a bathroom and so on so this house was not like a project where we just say we're gonna build a house to have two bedrooms and whatever it was like consistently added on to so he added on a bedroom he added on a kitchen added on a living room so that's why i think that's how most houses are built kind of and just to give my dad some credit he built this house by himself <laughs> which is probably one of the reasons why it's collapsed <laughs> <laughs> This right here, right? No, it's just here? Yeah, first. You know, remember? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a veranda? Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but now we have a bed, a dresser, and a, a TV. A Look at that. That's, that's and a what? TV. That is, you're very, you're very innovative, I must say. <laughs> and then this was my parents' bedroom. I remember we were not really allowed in this room <laughs> <laughs> because Daddy used to be so strict. I don't know if there's lighting. Yeah. Yeah, so this was my parents' bedroom. We were not really allowed in here because my father used to like come from off at the ship. He used to bring like all the goodies and everything and they would lock them in this room. So that's me and Sean and like take everything out. 
and um, yeah it's when it was just built I thought that this room was so big but coming in here now when I'm older it's not that big Mm -hmm. And then through there is the bathroom. You don't have to. Right. Yeah. And then this is the kitchen. The kitchen area. My dad turned it into a green. It wasn't always green, right, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This kitchen got you all of the transformation. But yeah. That's it. That is my childhood home, guys. So every wall has a different color. Every wall. <laughs> every room. You know, you're in a Jamaican house and every wall has a different color. Yeah. Go. And look, this lantern thingy is for when current gone. Or, oh, uh, what well, we say, light gone. Mm -hmm. You use this. Lamp. Yeah, lamp. That was with like propane yeah, or like original one that gasoline. Yeah. Home sweet home with the under shade, the fat one, but you hardly see that one now. Yeah. It's like before electricity. You have to go like in a museum in Jamaica. You what happened up there? Yeah, what happened up there? <laughs> <laughs> the other one. The other. Remember me? Remember me? Sure, take the chance. Remember me? Cut out about them place here. Oh yes, I'm yes, yes. Column inside, so. This I forgot upstairs now. When Tanta go upstairs, mm -hmm. the concrete we have got cast in this box here. Mm -hmm. Put a piece of ply there and it just run and everything come it and go back. Right. Okay. I completely understand what you're just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't though. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the end of that segment of our vacation vlog. Um Simas so finally got to see the house that I grew up in. I was so excited to show it off. I've only been talking about it for the past like six months, right, Simas? <laughs> yeah, so I'm really happy and um he got to see the lane where I grew up in and um the path that I used to skate down on and what we used to call kanda, but it was usually just this, this these palm leaves that would fall off the tree or the palm bark that would fall off the tree and eventually dry up and we would just like skate down these things and I showed him where we used to skate and I brought him to the other lane to meet my aunt and everybody and my little cousin who has cerebral palsy we will actually be rolling out our um, GoFundMe page for uh, my cousin so make sure if you're interested in helping him out um, definitely definitely see that page and also hopefully most of all hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and if you grew up somewhere similar to this comment down below and let us know if you grew up in another country or if you grew up in another town which which do you prefer sim as the country or the town in jamaica yeah the country you prefer the country the only thing is that we got bit a little bit you know like mosquitoes and stuff but it was like, fun i don't like the town that much in jamaica the, driving in the town in portland or port in porty port antonia driving is not fun I know, yeah. But yeah, I'm just glad to have to have the opportunity to show Simas where I grew up. It was it was a great experience. My dad was happy to see us and it was just awesome. Right? Anyways guys, that is a final wrap for the video. Make sure you like share subscribe show it to your family so that they can have some reminiscing uh, moments of their childhood as well and um don't forget to leave us a comment below whether or not you like the video give it a thumbs up and we will see you in another part of the vlog where simis will try my dad's food for the first time and you will see also our touristy part of the vacation the tour where we were in runaway bay and you'll also see some local beaches in portland that we also checked out so hopefully you guys enjoy all the vlogs and we'll see you in another vlog bye lit jam massive food is coming look at that. beautiful presentation right oh yeah look at it of course, he's so shy. It's such a show off. <laughs> All right, so now that you have tasted Georgia's food multiple times and know you have tasted Glenn's food, Chef Glenn, right? Mm -hmm. Soupy, aka Chicken Buck, aka Soupy, aka Chef Glenn. You taste some food now, so mm -hmm. what is your determination? Who has the better food?